Not long ago, Google Gemini introduced a new tool called the Guided Learning Mode. This is fabulous if you are a language teacher or a language student, because if you're a language student, it will produce for you activities for you to do and you can work through them and it will give you feedback and tell you what you need to do next or even suggest new exercises to do. And if you're a teacher, you can use it for generating materials. I'm going to focus on three key areas that I've been using the tool for. Firstly, uh, studying grammar, and I'm going to show you a few examples. It is fabulous. Secondly, I'm going to look at how you can use it to extract content from a video or from a text. So if you're looking for certain vocabulary, if you're looking for certain examples of the past simple or certain uses of a preposition, it will extract that language for you and translate it into other languages, etc. Super, super quickly. Thirdly, and I love this, you can put in, for example, a link to a YouTube video or a website or even a document, and it will produce comprehension questions, check your understanding specifically of that content, and it will even help you if you want to get the transcript. This is a really versatile technology, and what I love is you can use it on your own as a student, or it can be very useful as a teacher for generating content that you can then use in class with your students. Really hope you like the video and as always, if you do, please like it, please share it, please comment on it. But most of all, join me on my YouTube channel. I'd love to have more of you signed up and don't forget to give me a few hype points. Let's get started. Very quickly, go to your apps. All you need to do is find Google Gemini. It will be in your apps. Click on Gemini. I'm going to use the free tool. Uh, I do actually have a pro account as well, but just to make sure that everything I show you is available in the free tool, I'll use the free tool for this example. So the magic button that you want to click on is here. You want to click on tools and in tools you want guided learning and now you're in guided learning mode. And what I'm going to do first of all is get the guided learning mode to produce a grammar exercise for me that I can either do on my own and get immediate feedback, or if I was a teacher, I could share it with my students. Let me show you. I've simply asked for an interactive, and I better spell it right, interactive grammar quiz at B1 level in English to test how well I know the irregular past verbs in English. Now, if I click on this button here, what's gonna happen is, hopefully, it's gonna generate a quiz for me. And there we are, it's starting to produce the quiz already there on the right hand side. Now, absolutely brilliant because you can do this quiz and I'm going to show you how you do it. You simply choose yesterday, I da da da, so I went, immediate feedback, then you would move to the next question. Now what about if you were a teacher and you wanted to share this activity? Well, you click on this button here, it's going to generate a link and you can share this link with your students and they will get access to the quiz. Students do not need a Gmail account to do this quiz. If we quickly just work through this quiz, let me show you what happens at the end. So I'm just at the end of the quiz here. I'm just gonna do the last couple of questions, okay? And I'm gonna make this one a mistake. Notice it gives you correct uh, feedback. I'll click on done. Now you'll notice that it gives me a complete summary of how well I've done, but also really good, analyze my performance, more questions, or preview or review the quiz. But notice also, keep learning. You can make some flashcards or a study guide. Absolutely fast, fantastic. Let's make some flashcards then. So if we click on this button here, it would now generate a set of flashcards. One important thing, when you finish doing an activity, all you need to do is click on this button to come back to the main window, okay? Now you can see it's making a set of flashcards for me, and I've got here base form eight, and that's gonna be eight, okay? And then the next, yeah, and then I will go to the next one. Okay, really hope you liked the video so far, and if you do, please click on the like button because it really helps me. I'm gonna move on now to look at working with YouTube. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a link to a YouTube video into the um, guided learning and we're going to get it to generate a comprehension question quiz and also we're going to do some things with vocabulary and collocations etc so let's move on now to working with youtube videos which is something i do a lot in polish 
A really useful tip when working with uh, YouTube, and this works in the normal account or in a premium one, is if you'd search for something, I'm gonna search for shopping in English and press enter. Notice you've got these filters here. And what you can do here is filter for shorter videos. For example, maybe you only want a video of four minutes long, or let's say four to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna click on that. But I'm also actually gonna do another filter here, and I'm gonna click for videos that have got subtitles. It's always useful to have videos that have subtitles. So let's uh, choose a video, and I'm just gonna scroll down here and look at one, not too long. So I want something quite short. Um, let's say, for example, do this video here, which is just five minutes, okay? So I'm gonna click on this video, and the only thing I need to do is to copy the link of the video. So I'm gonna copy that link, and now I'm gonna come over to Google Gemini and paste the link in and get Google Gemini to generate for me a interactive quiz. I'm gonna come back to Gemini and close down this quiz so that we come back into this main window. So I've asked the question, can you make a multiple choice quiz based on this video? I want to check my understanding of the video and its contents, and now I'm gonna paste in the link and I'm gonna cl click on this button here. Remember, we're using the free tool. Let's see what happens. And there it goes, it starts to make the quiz for me. Now, so again, you can click on the answers. You're gonna get immediate feedback. Notice it is fairly detailed. And then you can move on to the next question. If you're a teacher and you wanted to share this with your students, remember to click on this button here. That gives you the share link. And remember, your students do not need a Gmail account. They can access and do the activity without the Gmail account. And this is a great way of generating content around a YouTube video. Now we can actually take this a little bit further. Just a super quick break from the video. If you do like what you're seeing and you want more free videos, then come over to my website, teachertrainingvideos.com. I specialize in making videos to show teachers and students how to use technology in their language teaching and their language learning. And there's loads of content on the website. Also, if you're a language teacher, think about signing up to the newsletter, as well as getting updated on all the latest videos. There's a free 14 part course where I basically highlight some of the key technologies that we're using in language teaching. And many of the tools that I highlight are completely free. Also, if you were interested in having more training with me, then join me on Patreon. You get free videos every month with no advertising, and you get the chance to meet me online as well for an hour's training. We do an hour's training every month with the Patreon group where we actually work with the technology so you really learn to use them well. Thank you very much. Let's get back to the video. I've gone through the quiz very quickly. I didn't do very well, I only got 10% right. I've got flashcards I can make, a study guide, review the quiz or make more questions. But of course, what I could do is come over here and for example, extract some vocabulary from that YouTube video. And I'm gonna do that. So I've written here, can you extract eight useful phrases from the YouTube video and explain what they mean? Let's see what happens here. I'm gonna click on this button here and I'm hoping what it's gonna do is gonna extract some of the key vocabulary from the actual video. So I'm gonna close this window down to come back into the main window. Here we've got our key vocabulary now and what we could do with this is we could make some type of activity based on that notice you get quite a lot of detail so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to ask for a quiz based around the key vocabulary now what you could do if you was a teacher is provide this as a worksheet and then set the quiz perhaps as an exact as an, uh, an activity that you could do the next day with your students so I've asked for an interactive quiz based on the, these on these phrases, not this phrase, on these phrases, sorry. And let's put that in there and then press on this button here. Again, it's gonna generate a new activity for me. And you can see this is how you can work and really use this technology effectively to help you to study if you're working on your own or again, if you're a teacher.
Okay, one last thing just before we go. First of all, just quickly to say a big thank you for watching the video. And if you did like the video, please click on the like button because it really helps me. And please think about subscribing to my channel. I did actually come across another brilliant technology in 2025 called Ed Cafe, which is I highly recommend both for teachers and students, really professional, does lots of things, a bit like uh, the learning mode in Google does lots of things and it also has a generous free offer. Now, if you buy Ed Cafe as well, it's not a particularly expensive technology if you really want to use it a lot, then also it's actually quite reasonable to buy. I will put a link uh, below in the description. You can try out Ed Cafe and you can use it on a monthly basis for free. You really might find that useful. It's one of my favorite technologies of 2025. Thank you very much. Okay, really hope you liked that video. And if you did, then please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Loads more free videos. Look at all the different menu items at the top of the screen here. If you're a teacher and you want to keep up a little bit more with the work I do, we often organize webinars, online courses, etc. Then sign up to the newsletter. And if you sign up to the newsletter, there is a free 14 part mini video course in using technology in language teaching and nearly everything I suggest is free. If you want to take it a little bit further then think about joining me on Patreon. If you join Patreon you get uh, extra videos every month with no advertising. I just go straight into the training. Lots of ideas about how you can use the technologies in the class with your students and you also get the chance to meet me online once a month for some direct training and that's a real opportunity for you to practice using the technologies with me and finally if you want to go even further uh, join me on my very popular course technologies and approaches to blended hybrid and online teaching i do that in collaboration with nile that is the norwich institute for language education a very prestigious organization in the uk and that course has been running for many years and is very popular. Thank you very much. I'm going to leave a few more videos on the screen now that you might find useful.